I'm from Baltimore uh, and I really started my scientific actual like research journey when I was 15. I developed a new way to detect pancreatic ovarian and lung cancer. It costs three cents and takes five minutes to run. And uh, so that was my work back then. And then I continued kind of doing research. I was really into environmental uh, research back in the day. So I kind of revisited that with this project. And now also I'm working on nanorobotics at Stanford. What we're seeing is that in order to make these big gains that we need in the Sustainable Development Goals, we need this underlying data. And I believe that we can collect this. And you talked about the data drought that's currently existing in international development. A lot of the data that we have or need is either severely out of date or completely missing. And so I was kind of curious as to how much of a difference data would make in a lot of these uh, efforts to achieve these sustainable development goals. So we had a kind of small-ish pilot study in Tanzania and we were able to, in just one month, in this very small district, we were able to get over 100,000 data points and hold over 50 uh, perpetrators of environmental exploitation accountable. So it just goes to show that data has this massive potential and also just a very small amount of data can really go and change the world. So the power of this data is absolutely incredible because once you get this really high resolution data, you can create these really highly personalized interventions that are really successful and much more cost effective than traditional interventions. And so first off, the success rate will go way up. You'll have to put much less money in in order to get the same effort, like uh, changes. And also in general, I think that we'll be able to lift more people out of poverty and achieve these sustainable development goals. We need to change this. We need to break down the digital divide and we need to start thinking of data as less of a luxury and more as a basic human right that is. Everyone has a role in doing international development, whether it's volunteering time, whether it's giving to these different organizations, or even going out there and creating your own organization and going out there and trying to change the world. It really just takes one yes to have this breakthrough moment that could revolutionize how we do international development. So great ideas can come from anywhere. So everyone has a part in international development and everyone can make a change.